When you spot a spotted lanternfly, you probably step on it or ignore it. But there's something else you can do to help Pennsylvania scientists learn everything about these insects that aren't supposed to be here. All you have to do is catch the lanternfly and give it to the professionals at St. Vincent College. They've been collecting them for a few years as they try to figure out how they adapt to new environments. Tonight I spoke with a biology professor there who's hoping to get answers about these odd pests with your help. It's safe to say no one is okay with the invasion of these annoying insects in western Pennsylvania, but St. Vincent College biology professor Michelle Duenis sees the spotted lanternfly's overstayed welcome as a unique chance to study and record the spread of an invasive species. To learn about how spotted lanternfly are dealing with this new environment and how they're changing in response to it. She co-founded the Spotted Lanternfly Invasion Archive with biochemist Al McDonald at Chatham University. They're building a sample collection of these bugs. This research project is fueled by help from students and people in the community. A lot of people really want to help us figure out how to stop spotted lanternfly and also stop potentially other invasive species. There's so much we don't know about these strange plant hoppers. The main data they want to collect is their DNA. Duanis says think of forensic DNA testing, but with a bug. It can tell us potentially where they came from. It can potentially tell us how far they're traveling to meet with each other. It can tell us how genetically diverse they are. Now that's an important thing to measure because the more genetically diverse they are, the more um, adaptable they are to changes and the more likely they are to stay. They'll also look at what plants are tastiest to these insects, what kills them and what they kill. That's why they want people in Allegheny and Westmoreland counties to become citizen scientists and start catching adult lanternflies instead of squashing them. So you would take it alive and put it? Yes, if people are brave enough. They'll send you a kit and collection tubes, but you can start now. Duanis knows a trick so they won't jump on your face. You just need an airtight plastic bottle. You put it over them, they'll jump up into the bottle, and then... You can just take that bottle full of them, put it in the freezer. You'll need to preserve the lantern flies in high proof alcohol. Duana says they're going to need your help every year. So remember, spot them and scoop them. They hope other researchers will use their data to maybe develop things that stop their movement. Because they have not been here very long, there's still probably a lot of consequences to be seen of them being here that just have needed more time to develop. Other interesting things she noted, they're getting more reports of people seeing birds eating lanternflies and numbers going down dramatically in some neighborhoods. If you want to help by catching them, sign up by filling out an application online. Just remember, they prefer them not squash, but we'll take those too. They'll have multiple drop off locations throughout the city and they'll be doing some pickups as well. We'll put the link and more information on KDKA.com.